The two most powerful tools that a habitat manager has in his toolbox are grazing management and brush management. And when we talk about brush management or brush control, we're talking about different ways to remove brush. But from our standpoint as quail managers, we want to do that selectively. We define brush sculpting as the planned selective control of brush to enhance wildlife habitat. That's a concept we coined about 15 years ago. It's become quite popular. Uh, now, a lot of places you'll be using a bulldozer or a roller chopper, but you can also use herbicides to sculpt brush. And here at the research ranch, we're interested in sculpting prickly pear. We've got a lot of prickly pear. Now, we know how to kill prickly pear. If we burn an area and then we apply a herbicide called picloram, we can take out 98% of the prickly pear. But we want to take it out in the most quail friendly approach that we can. And so that means strategically, we want to control it in certain areas, other areas we don't, and we want to understand what the side effects of our treatment are. One of our current studies here at the ranch involves different herbicides at different rates with and without burning. Here we're in, in an area that has been burned. It was burned in January. The application of herbicide was applied in late April. And here we are two months later and we can already begin to see some yellowing of the pads and we're interested in monitoring not only the prickly pear control, but what does it do to our good weeds as well as our good shrubs. The project where we're using brush sculpting to look for the quail friendly approach to prickly pear is co-sponsored by Dow AgroSciences. They provided the herbicides, the chemicals, and they've also provided the application cost for doing this. And of course, we always like to work with those kind of partners. My preacher often says you're free to choose your actions, but you're not free to choose the consequences. And that's something that a brush manager has to think about. We can kill certain species, but do we also kill some of the beneficial species? And if so, how can we mitigate that loss and minimize that damage to our habitat? The greatest tools that the brush sculptor has at his disposal is GPS technology. We can literally take a GPS unit and be able to mark, delineate areas on the habitat here, maybe that have a draw, a riparian area that we want to leave out of our spray pattern. We load that onto the onboard computer on the helicopter or the spray plane. We used a helicopter in this case. That spray system will shut off when he goes over the area we want to leave out. When we think about bombing strategies in World War II, we called it carpet bombing or saturation bombing. Uh, there was a lot of collateral damage because our technology just didn't allow us to focus the ordinance on what our target really was. If we go to the Vietnam conflict and the Ho Chi Minh Trail and those B-52s, we're getting a little better, but still a lot of collateral damage. Now let's move forward to the Iraqi war in 1991 and we had those videos of surgical strikes and those smart bombs going down those elevator shafts. That's about to the point where we're at with putting herbicides now on rangelands. We've got better technology. And our goal here on one of our studies is to again look at the collateral damage to some of our good shrubs. We know how to kill prickly pear, but again, what is the impact on things like hackberry, which is a very desirable woody plant for us. And our typical prickly pear recipe, burn plus picloram, wipes out our, our hackberry. So that's an undesirable. So we're trying to see if there are herbicides that will give us a manageable level of prickly pear without some of the undesirable collateral damage. And so we're monitoring, we're tagging about uh, several hundred different shrubs here on the research ranch in these various treatments. And we'll monitor them at six, 18, 24 and 36 months post spray to see what their survival is. Hopefully we'll find some of these treatment combinations which don't kill our good, our good shrubs, but they give us a desirable level of prick the control. So again, we can focus surgical strikes as a result of the same technology that we saw in the uh, Iraqi war. We can apply that same type of technology here on the back 40 and enhance our ability to manage brush and keep it quail friendly. Thank <laughs> you.